Hello, dear friends. A week ago, Utrok Vyacheslav's mother left this world, and this short episode will be about this and other current developments of the End Times game. Meanwhile, I apologize uh, for some of the people whose paintings I have not sent yet because uh, the local post offices for the entire region have been closed for almost a month now. They uh, feel they can get away with uh, restricting the people in any way now in the chaos. And um, this postal service here, the very same company functioned without interruption for one and a half century. But now, as they handed over their power to the machines, all of a sudden there are technical difficulties uh, which they cannot repair. Or at least, that's what they say. Maybe there is no problem at all. Maybe they just uh, want to disturb and create inconveniences for the people. So, Valentina Afanasyevna, Vyacheslav's mother, died because of cancer, which was uh, as predicted in the prophecies, but she left uh, much earlier than it was predicted, years earlier, not just a little bit. But since um, everything else from the Utrok Vyacheslav prophecies seems to be happening with amazing precision, I don't see this as a fault, but simply as uh, one of the possible changes, because uh, not all events are set in stone, and uh, probably her departure at this point of time was uh, not the most likely timeline at the time when Vyacheslav spoke, but uh, sometimes not the most likely event, not the most likely development takes place. At least that's how I take it, that those who tend uh, not to believe uh, the end-time prophecies. I'm sure some of them will say so, all the prophecies are not reliable, but uh, the apocalypse will come, even if you stop believing in the Utrok Vyacheslav's prophecies, still there are many other uh, saints and prophets, like uh, Mary Julie Jahani, who have been uh, faultless so far. So please don't uh, take her departure as a sign that okay, so I don't need to purify spiritually. By the way, the untimely departure of Valentina Afanasyevna, untimely also because she did not die out of old age, is not just an isolated incident. At least in Russia recently, untimely death left most of the, how to say, the pillars of the faith, the people, the religious at least in the Orthodox community, those who were opposing the Dajjal, and guiding and inspiring the others to do so, they are all living one after another, even though they are not in old age. And not only in the field of religion, also if you remember in the field of alternative history, which seems to be also very much related to what is going on, both Vadim Chernobrov and Andrei Sklarov, who were undoubtedly the two big names in the field, they also departed more or less together and none of them was actually old. Exactly as it was uh, prophesied long ago that uh, Shortly before the worst starts, the Lord will take to himself those who proved their loyalty enough by spreading his word, because they will not need to live through the horrors of the Dajjal reign, while in the classroom remain those alone who need to be tested further. And now I'm gonna share with you a few prophecies found in this video, which uh, seems to be uh, made by people who had some connection with the people around her in her last days. I don't know how much is really her own words and how much is uh, the coloring from the personal understanding of uh, the couple of people through which the information finally appeared in the form of this video, so there is no guarantee that uh, these are prophecies from um, 
Valentina Afanasyevna directly, but still I'm gonna share them since this timeline is considerably shorter compared to the one um, I've been coming up with based on the prophecies only. Uh, not based on my own visions, at least the timeline. So it is good to have uh, different scenarios just to make us more flexible and uh, ready for everything. Because in this line, timeline, which I'm gonna talk about now, uh, things are uh, happening very, very soon. Like the current military conflict uh, escalating into world war, which is uh, in the other timeline as well. The world war would be combination of uh, various locals, local wars merging together eventually. So in the video they say that according to Valentina Afanasyevna there will be a major event March next year or 3rd of March next year. They also quote Valentina Afanasyevna saying that this summer will be the last one before the coronation of the Antichrist, who will be coronated next year. As you can see, this is uh, considerably sooner than uh, what I was expecting based on the other prophecies. The coronation would be, let's say, some five years ahead. Also, they mentioned that um, not eight months after the, uh, the Jal coronation, the Antichrist coronation, will appear the great monarch, the Gradushi Tsar, but much sooner, possibly even up to three months after the coronation. So that can happen sooner. So in uh, the source video, they expect the Dajjal the Jerusalem coronation in May 2023. And cash transactions being outlawed, possibly this or next year which will be, of course, for the purpose, uh, so that only the Jals, loyal people, will be able to buy and sell. And according to the source at hand, they have started the construction of a new temple, and when that temple, a church, I guess, will be completed, there will be this uh, procession with a cross, and during this procession, Serafim Sarovsky will resurrect, and this will happen during the war. It will be during war time. And then, according to this source, in some year and a half, uh, the remains of Utrok Vyacheslav uh, will be relocated to Sergiev Passat. For more information, please see all the other end time episodes and also all the current situation updates. And meanwhile, they started introducing in a number of countries all kinds of uh, digital IDs and scoring systems. The more you agree with the government, the higher you score, of course. This uh, used to be in China in the past, but now it is uh, getting rapidly adopted by the West as well. In Italy, uh, they are uh, having the exact same system in other places like uh, Austria and Germany. They uh, offer kind of milder versions. You know, if you're against uh, carbon dioxide or <laughs> something like this, uh, you will get high score. Just download the app. Just download the app. That's what they want. And um, they will throw peanuts for you if you do so as a reward. Also some sort of uh, tickets for social events where they will brainwash you even more. Of course, first uh, they will only give out candies as a reward. But how long uh, before they start... Uh, locking up uh, those who don't want candies well i don't know exactly it could be a couple of years or according to the timeline of the video and the discussion today even um, half an year or months but i think the timing is uh, not the most important thing the entire episode will be relatively short even for a human lifespan, 5-10 years is uh, not much, what to speak of, uh, cosmic 
scale in terms of all the experiences of a given soul in this material existence. It is really a blink in uh, the entire eternity, so small. But the decision which uh, people are making now are very, very important. It's an important blink time in their existence. And um, the last recorded message by Otrok Vyacheslav's mother was uh, that she felt that her work is accomplished here. She felt her duty was to warn the people and uh, tell them what exactly is coming. And it's some over 20 years since Vyacheslav left. Most of that time she spent on, at his uh, shrine, accepting people and answering their questions. But when the events started uh, actually happening, all of a sudden this flow of hundreds and thousands of people stopped because uh, they were coming, uh, most of them, it seems, out of curiosity or just to pray for mundane things at the shrine of the saint, because uh, it's famous that he helped many people. So this flow stopped, and also the constant questions of the people stopped. Now everything was clear. And actually, most of the people inside, deep inside, they were ashamed. Because uh, they obviously do not follow the instructions. They are not going to the countryside. They are accepting the certificates. Something which, of course, uh, they were saying, of course, I will not do. That was a couple of years ago. And now it is clear that's uh, exactly what they are doing. If any of the listeners have some questions... Please watch the entire End Time series. There is new information in every episode. By far, most of the questions which I receive after every video are actually answered in the previous episodes. And that shows that um, people just lack interest in this topic. They need an answer to a specific question and many of them readily explain to me why they need exactly that because they will decide this or that according to that information so they have some regard and some appreciation for the prophecies but apparently not enough to spare enough time to hear all the episodes i always take care to present the information in a very concise manner. But still, even that is not enough. It seems it's not the style of presentation. Probably it's just uh, the modern man who can concentrate only on one or maximum two or three factors when they take a decision and taking into consideration 20, 30 or 50 doesn't seem uh, to be an option nowadays, which is sad uh, because uh, during the end times we will be tested to our limits. We will be put through thick and thin. So the devils are not taking rest while they are renumbering the people and putting them on score system, which basically scores the extent of brainwashing. On the legal side, uh, they are implementing a World Health Organization pandemic treaty, which will um, effectively eradicate the national sovereignty so that uh, everybody will roam around numbered and renumbered and scored and without cash on the mercy of the servants of the Jal. Or at least that's how they uh, imagine the situation. And if somebody doubts somehow what they're doing, look at this. Brain-computer interfaces already on commercial models in people. They inject something into you and then when it circulates with the blood, it sticks to your brain and over there it interacts with your thoughts. Actually, they are attempting that since years. The only thing I wonder now is uh, why are they making it public? Maybe to kind of uh, make the people aware that uh, they are turning into cyborgs or something. And when they start uh, tampering with the thoughts, hmm, I wonder what will they implant?
Drag camp for children. Wow. The gel himself is into that category. So what a coincidence that uh, this is getting trendier and trendier. And that coming at the time uh, for many other wonderful coincidences that since the devilish attacks intensified, all of a sudden violent uh, diseases and all kinds of uh, sudden health problems, they multiplied, their occurrences uh, jumped sharply, and also violent crime, and even incidents like drowning, suicides, all kinds of fraud. All of a sudden, the statistics for all these things started multiplying manifold. 